It used to be that if you wanted to link a date to a block, you would have to write the whole date using Rome's format on that block. For example, if I want to leave myself here, I use you know, on my daily plan, I use a future me block where I leave myself homework or notes or thoughts for uh, future consumption. So for example, if I want to leave a PDF that I'm working on or rather reading right now for tomorrow, what I would have to do is the following square brackets and then write down exactly the date like Rome likes it. That's it. Then uh, underneath, I could just link the PDF file here. And then indeed, if I go to tomorrow in the calendar, here I see it in the linked references. Rome would allow you to, for example, if you need something for tomorrow, it would allow you to use tomorrow as natural language or yesterday. But that was it. Now this has changed. Now you can use natural language to enter a day. For example, in five days, it will be the 16th of December. Instead of writing December 16th, comma, 2021, I can now just use square brackets and write in five days. And it suggests the date correctly. Or I can, for example, write two weeks from now. And it works beautifully. This can be done as well on the search bar, for example. And it suggests the date here, and it jumps directly to last Friday. So here are a few other suggestions that you can use as natural language and for Rome to convert it into a date. And that's it. October and November, Rome has been improving very, very much under the hood. There's been major performance improvements. But in terms of end user features or utility, this has been the update.